one very loud sound. And JB and BT, it's back to you. Well, it won't affect him, and he'll move on straight away after that initial touch of the footy. And Whee! They come for him now, and I'm sure once oh. the game starts, he'll be right into it. So Rory regretting. Lott. Might be regretting BT, those comments he made as he left. So the 666 still adhered to there, even despite that. We go back to the middle umpires today. Nick Fort, Lee Fisher, Lee House, and Craig Flair to get us underway here at Optus Stadium in Perth. Schultz can make it work. He does. He's got Brayshaw running if he wants to use him. Aisha's is there as well. Aisha's long ball in. Good hands. Darcy. Paid. Big synchronised boo, as you'd expect. Williams now from 52. Bonham Pally's there. Waitman would have the fly, but Bonham Pally gets just the great, job done. Great work rate, BT. Gets it from the half-back line. O'Meara, just a little handling fumble. They go backwards again. Gets through the legs of Walker. Liberatore flicking handball. Waitman taking the ground. Still, they have to go back and defend, and that's holding the ball. Wonderful forward heat from the dogs to Williams. Gee, they've let them out of there very, very easily. Sturt with a saving smother, though. Gives Sarong a bit of a look back inside. Keith off the head, off the hand, you name it. Jackson got it. Three straight, the Dockers. Easily pumped away, here's Trelaw. Hugel Hagen on the run. Looks for Norton and gets him. Play on, play on, play on. Not sure why. Caleb Daniel, running shot at goal, is through. Got it to walk up. Inside out, Frederick over the top, trying to reach. McRae, English. Somehow Daniel backed out of the pack with ball to Law. Bailey Williams sold some foot candy. Very classy work. McLean deliberately knocking it down to Jones. He was caught with the foot. He could have almost been a free man or free here. Now they surge forward again. Richards, Brayshaw, Frederick over the top. Schultz had an opportunity to steady and makes the most of it. English trying to get it out the back door. Schultz capitalised. Now Young, chiselling, beautiful kick. Finds Banfield. The wheel and go is impressive. Now Sturt. Good looking hoist, no problems at all. Back to a two goal game. Young went back and found it, flicked it to Brody. Sarong, great vision. Right here for Hughes. Now Sturt. Great, he, he knows when to lead this guy, though. Nice. Didn't that look nice? Did very, very well. Goes high and wide to a 1v2. Richards. Joe Hannison. Lob. Rory Lob. Silences them with a beautiful set shot. Scott to Trelaw. Trelaw on the wing. Danger signs here for Fremantle. McLean back to Trelaw. Runs to 48. Gets around a couple. English to kick a goal of his own. There it is. He was back on the wing watching that sail through. So Brody to Johnson. The response could be swift. Frederick would take a shot from directly in front. Darcy to Law. Over the head of Jones, Hugo Hagen. Ryan, just that little kick and didn't quite connect on the boot as well as it did with Bonham Pelly at the other end. On the counter-attack here, 
Nasty goes down. Walters saved today to O'Meara. We're out here. Fredericks found a little bit of space. Very, very wide. Oh, they get confused. I'm not sure what Paul is doing. Hughes over the top here now. Frederick around the left boot. End to end. Magnificent. Talk about arouse the crowd. Hugel Hagen has hit the wrong side of the ball. And no one was watching. Almost Liberatore. Trelaw on the left. Trelaw on the left. That's massive. Don't try and grab the advantage if you're not capable of doing that. Little handball to Bailey Williams for his third goal of the night. And he gets it. Calling for the rucks. Conan Pelly. To Law. And the body very, very high ball. Coming back to goal, I reckon. Stopped spinning one way and started spinning the other. Bontepelli leaps at it. I reckon he's paid a mark and he should be. Waitman up to defend Daniel. Bailey Williams thought about it for a moment. Johannesson short ball to Lobb. Not the required journey, so he has to play on pump it long. Norton's coming late. Ryan's got it covered over the back. Off the hands is the sub. McNeil goals. Putting the hand up for a couple of votes. trelaw has been good. 35. And uh, maybe they won't look so favourably now, Richo. <laughs> Huge win here for the Western Bulldogs. 49 points in front of a record home and away crowd for these two. An amazing win. Your boys even the ledger and at 3-3 three and three with a, a win that I'm sure you are very, very happy about. Yeah, it's always hard to come across as a away team and win here. I know last year was such a fortress with Rio. Um, we just want to come out and um, you know, bring our brand of footy and it paid off. Playing against your old mob for the first time, you knew it was going to be a hostile environment. You knew that the boos were coming, but how did you find it out there? Yeah, I mean, it's all part of it. I mean, they probably got me with a couple of set shots there, put a bit of pressure on myself to kick him. Um, you know, I'd probably work on that through the week, but uh, yeah, it's a great atmosphere down here. Were you looking forward to it or were you dreading it? What was your emotion kind of coming back into, obviously, WA and then taking on your, these guys? It's probably the most nerves I've had in a game for a while, other than a final. Um, as, as I said, I just wanted to play well, um, you know, let myself down. But, um, you know, we got the win in the end. You certainly didn't let yourself down. <laughs> One goal, three. You found the footy inside 50, which was something that there's been a lot of conversation about over the last couple of weeks. So you must be really, I guess, pleased with the way that your boys moved the ball forward. Yeah, obviously a couple of wet weather games. We didn't move it the way we wanted to in those games. Um, dry weather. We we're looking to get back to our brand and uh, our brand and um, move the ball really quickly. And uh, we got some shots off the back of it.